Hey, greetings YouTubers. This is Justin from Kind LED Grow Lights. Uh, today we're going to be comparing the Black Dog Platinum XLU with the Kind K5 Series XL1000. Uh, we're going to compare for PAR and spectral readout. The way we're going to perform our tests is to hang each of the lights at distances from the ground of 24, 36, and 48 inches. And at each of those heights, take a set of measurements with our photometric instruments here at a center point on an inner ring of data points and then on a far outer ring from the uh, center of the board. We're going to be averaging all the data points to get an average reading of PAR and then we'll also be showing the average readings on the inner and outer rings. Alright, let's take a look at the instruments we're going to be using to perform this test. This is a PAR meter, another tool from Sun Systems. This is an important measurement for measuring grow lights for plants because it actually quantifies how much light is being emitted by the light source that is going to affect the photosynthesis of the plants. The photosynthetically active radiation spectrum is something scientists have been studying for the last 100 or 200 years. The McCree curve is the curve that scientists found back when they were for studying the photosynthetic action of plants uh, that is where the PAR spectrum gets its name. Finally, our most important tool of the toolkit is the spectrometer from UPR Tech. We use it to analyze and show us all of the different colors uh, being emitted by a light source and it's very necessary and the most important tool for evaluating the performance of a horticultural light because we want to see exactly the levels and ratios of each color in the entire range of colors including colors that are outside of the visible range of the human eye ultraviolet and infrared this is a very necessary tool because the human eye can't perceive these colors when you look at a red and a blue diode together you just see purple but the the spectrometer can show you exactly how much red and exactly how much blue is there. This is the most definitive measurement you can take with regard to predicting how your plants are going to respond to a light source. Now we'll collect our data. These are the conclusions drawn from our data set. Comparing the PAR data, we can see that the Kind LED light has a really strong showing in central readings across the board. The Black Dog light quickly drops off. It doesn't have the optic lens that the Kind K5 Series XL1000 has, uh, so the readings are just not as strong. This is a heavy fixture, weighs 50 pounds, and uh, runs at a slightly higher wattage than the Kind LED. So we were expecting a stronger showing, but the PAR data just wasn't there. Kind LED for the win, again. Here are the two spectrums next to each other. As we can see, paired with some of the other LED lights, the Black Dog has a little more uh, variety of diodes, but it's still mostly peaked out in a couple different areas. Not showing as wide a spectrum output as the Kind K5 Series XL1000. Represented by the lines overlaid onto the spectrum is the absorption percentages for the colors of light needed to produce chlorophyll A, B, and carotenoids within the plant. Ultraviolet and infrared are not represented on this overlay, but botanists know that those colors of light are essential for full plant growth and essential oil production. Chlorophyll A is the most important by far because that's the chlorophyll which manufactures the sugars used in other biological processes and also to build the physical structure of the plant. There are 12 different colors of diodes in the Kind LED light spectrum, including infrared and ultraviolet. So our light is a full spectrum light with all the colors represented, balanced in amounts that are perfect for full sun, fruiting, and flowering plants. Uh, as you can see, we have our highest portion of light delivered as red and deep red light, followed by these peaks in the central and deep blues. With these two spectrums side by side, we can easily see that the Kind K5 series XL1000 grow light is the one that's going to grow plants better in your grow room. We're also going to be testing high pressure sodium light. This is a 1000 watt HPS light in a cool tube with the same photometric analysis, uh, PAR readings, and spectral analysis. This is traditionally what you'll see in grow rooms and although it puts out a lot of light, it's not necessarily the colors that you want to see and it also puts out a lot of heat. From our results, you can see clearly here the Kind LED came out much farther ahead in both spectral distribution and also in the PAR readings. As shown here in the HPS spectrum, most of the light output is in yellow, of which the plant does not need very much. Besides this wasted light energy and the total lack of blue light, high pressure sodium lighting releases tons of heat for which you have to spend additional wattage costs and equipment costs to exhaust. The reason that lower wattage lights can replace HPS lighting is that they're much more efficient at giving the plant what it needs without wasting energy giving too much light that the plant can't use. This translates into less energy costs and reduces excess heat, which again saves you money and effort 
to cool your grow room. By the end of the study, it was clear to see why Kind LED won the award from HT Magazine for best LED grow light for the last two years in a row. Besides having features that no other light can match, it dramatically outperforms the competition in photometric analysis. So why did the Kind K5 XL1000 dominate in this competition? Uh, there's a few different reasons. The proprietary 12-band Kind LED Perfect Spectrum makes our light the most well-balanced and effective spectrum, as you can see here. Using a blend of 3 and 5 watt diodes means you get the best quality of light to your plants with the highest efficiency possible. The secondary optic lens magnifies the power readings and more of the light is reaching your plant's leaf surface, increasing photosynthesis. Extra large heat sinks, quiet fans, precision drivers, and superior craftsmanship are qualities you can expect from the number one selling LED grow light in the U.S. hydroponic market. Full spectrum digital control allows digital tuning of spectrum to match any plant type at any stage of growth, veg or flower, further increasing efficiency of the light. The light runs by remote control, so you don't have to reach over your plants to adjust your settings. These are features no other grow light offers now. Alright, there you have it. So the Kyan K5 Series XL1000 dominated in spectral output as well as PAR. Uh, we were happy to see the results and we'd love to hear from you in the office. If you'd like more information, uh, you can email us or visit us on the web at kindledgrowlights.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.